Hi everyone, Mark here at 911 Rapid Response and sitting here beside me is a brand new Tahoe that we built for the Sotero Township as a whole. And why I say as a whole, this is one of five that we built for them. So every vehicle was built exactly the same, same flash pattern, same setup, same everything. So I'm gonna go around this one here that's sitting uh, with me right now. In the front of the vehicle, we have uh, wheel and ions in the grill mounted on the wheel and ion bracketry. And you'll see here, these are the V-series with uh, takedown and puddle lights. And these are duos here as well in the front. So when the customer actually pushes the white takedown function, they will go to white steady burn. Right now we were in slider position three, which is why you see red and white flashing. And generally on slider two, it'll just be red flashing. And then on one is lower level flash. So what you're seeing here right now as well is everything is synchronized. And why everything is synchronized is because we have wheel and carbide in this. So what we do with wheel and carbide, if you're not familiar with this, is we set every light to steady burn, and then we flash the output on the actual control brain itself, giving us full ultimate control over each and every light head that is on the vehicle for syn synchronization uh, features and also other features. We can tie in the OBD2 sensor uh, so we can tell when doors are open and all that type of, of, of features as well. You can't see it, but this does have two 100 watt speakers behind the grill here, and it also does have a wheel and howler up underneath the front, which is the bass tone siren. You'll see notice here in the uh, headlights, we have the wig wags that we've activated, the factory wig wags, but we also have a strobe tube in here, which is the Opticom to change the traffic lights to, uh, to uh, green for when they're responding to calls for safer intersection approach. We put the Opticom in here, we build them in, in the headlights, they work very well in there. That way we don't have no other emitters anywhere else throughout the vehicle. They're much more clean when, when we put them in that area. As we walk around this vehicle, you're gonna see the graphics on it. The graphics are from our graphics department, Market Graphics, 100% in-house. Uh, customer gave us an idea of what they would like and our graphics department uh, gave them uh, what, they, what they liked. So side intersection is very good on this vehicle. We have Whelan V-Series up here on the uh, blow molded housings from Whelan, along with under mirror light. So it gives us our 45s into our intersection, plus it gives us ample side warning as well. All on the bottom, we have the Whelan Tracers, which are uh, duos, they're red whites flashing back and forth, and then they will also go to full white steady burn on left alley function. The visor light is a Whelan inner edge visor light. We come around to the side. Now we are in direct sunlight today, so it is by far worst case scenario. We have uh, behind the tint, and this is actually a limo tint as well. So it's very dark tint on the back side of the vehicle. We have a single tracer here and a single tracer up top, and they are synchronized as well, so they go back and forth correctly. In the very back of the vehicle, we have the outer edges on the spoiler, and then we have the outer etches on the pillars, and then all this is also synchronized. And then we have some ions down here at the bottom. In the back of the vehicle, we have the gear clear system made by Rockland Products, supplied here at Rapid Response. And what that allows us is, it allows their gear and their air packs, which could have uh, carcinogens on them, it allows that after they're in a fire, they will put them in there and it has a ventilation system that doesn't let that uh, bad product go into the vehicle, which is known to cause cancer. So this helps that, and it recirculates from outside air to inside air to uh, clean the air, so the air stays clean inside the vehicle. They got some extinguisher mounts, whiteboard pull-out trays. We also have a computer mount that we have uh, put on a slide out tray and then it flips down so they can sit this in here wherever they like and they bring their tablet which is up front and they bring it and they stick it and dock it right here in the back so they can run full command center out of the back of the vehicle. One thing I want to highlight that the carbide feature does for us is tying it into the OBD2 sensors is right now I have the emergency warning lights off and I have the left turn signal on. So as you've seen before this light was in the emergency warning mode flashing uh, going to a call, but at any time they do turn the left turn signal on, it'll stop that or just driving down the road as it would be now, 
this amber light flashes left turn signal as well. And we're able to do that through custom programming in that wheel and carbide box. What else this will also do is when you put the brake lights on, the module will come on steady burn for a brake light function. That way if you are responding to a call with your emergency warning lights on and you do slam on the brakes, somebody else doesn't hit you in the back with all that warning light flashing, it basically stops some of it and gives us steady red brake lights out the back of the vehicle. We're on the inside of the vehicle here now and we have the Havis console, which is specifically made for the Tahoe. Fits very nicely in there. Starting at the top of the console, moving our way down, we have installed the county radio for the customer. We have supplied and also programmed the scanner that you see. And then below that, we have the actual control box, which is the remote head for the wheel and carbide siren itself. Does all our functions for us with our slider switches and our push buttons. And then we have the F110 tablet, which is just in a dock, so it's easy removable to go to the back. And then the Havis rugged keyboard, which is a spill proof, proof style keyboard. So 911 Rapid Response and its employees, thanks for Terra Township as a whole and allowing us to do their all new Tahoe projects. Uh, we're excited to supply an awesome vehicle with great function and uh, makes it safer for the first responders going to accidents, calls, and et cetera. If you need anything related to a project like this, whether it might be one vehicle, five vehicles, or even 100 vehicles, we'd be more than happy to talk to you, to go through, lay out the vehicle that you might need, talk about budgets, and get you as much as possible, getting you the safest vehicle on the road that we can make uh, for what you have. Give us a call at 717-473-3843. Make sure you check us out at social media and also 911rapidresponse.com.